Hi, how are you everyone? Today's workout is Pilates Reformer with Yoga Block. We have three red springs on the Reformer, uh, three heavy springs on. Then we're gonna lay down on the back and put the box, no, not the box, block between your knees. Then put your arches or heels on. All the toes are facing nicely up towards the ceiling and make sure you have a neutral lower back position, okay? Then your pelvis is really square and your belly is nicely flat. Put your hands down next to your hips, okay? Then as you exhale, pull your navel in and gently tuck your tail under. Then inhale, coming back to the neutral. Just a little bit of space behind your back. And as you exhale, pushing your navel in, so your lower back now touching on the carriage, then inhale, come back to the neutral. Again, exhale, pull your navel in and tuck, nicely curling your pubic bone towards your nose, and inhale, relax and neutral. Keep your shoulders relaxed also, then exhale, tuck, inhale, come back. And then now, keep your block between your knees and as you exhale, pull your navel and tuck your tail under, then peel off your spine to lift your hips up nicely high. Okay, then inhale at the top. Exhale slowly, put the spine back down, one vertebrae at a time. Keep your back of your head nicely attached on the headrest and slowly coming back down and find your neutral position. Again, as you exhale, pull your navel in and tuck your tail under and nicely lift your hips up. Inhale and exhale slowly, lower, lower, lower. And find your tailbone nicely. Again, inhale and exhale, tuck and lift. Peel off your spine one by one. Inhale, and exhale slowly, roll down, roll down. Make sure you have both sides of your arches on your feet, attached on the football. Okay, then now exhale, tuck and lifting up again. Then from here, just halfway lower your hips down and halfway up. Inhale, lower, exhale up. Inhale, lower, exhale up, breathe and four more, three, two, and one, and lifting up now, tighten your glute, then pause up your butt, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, equal way, lifting up your pelvis, then as you exhale, slowly, slowly, put the spine, one by one, as you elongate your spine, then tailbone touching and come back in. Okay, so now put the block turn, uh, on the uh, horizontal position, then put your, turn, up, turn out your legs wide. Okay, then put your heels on the foot bar. Okay, so it's a small turn out, but still your knees are wide and you're holding this block nicely, okay? Then squeeze your sits bone together, then directly lift your pelvis up as you exhale, then inhale at the top and exhale slowly, slowly lower down, 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 okay? And coming back to the neutral. Again, squeeze your sits bone together, squeeze the block, then lift your pelvis up nicely, Inhale, then exhale, articulating your spine to roll down, down, down. Good. Again, squeeze your sits bone, then lift your hips up. Inhale, and exhale slowly, slowly lower. Down, put the spine gently, elongating your spine, and come down. Then next time, squeeze your glutes and lift your hips up. Then now, press the carriage out. Then lower your hips down. So it's coming into a neutral position. Okay, then come back all the way in. Then now lifting up and out. 
hinge at your hips come, come down, then curl your car carriage in. Squeeze and up, press out, hips down, keep it neutral, then come back in. Two more this way, out, down, in, and up. Press the carriage out and lower your hips down and come back in. Now press your carriage out, then squeeze your glute, then lift your hips up. Then bend your knees and close the carriage. This time you're articulating your spine and lower your hips down. Press out, up, and come back in and articulating your spine to come down. Then find your neutral, then press out, lifting up and close your carriage and keep the glutes up, then slowly, slowly lower. Down, let's do two more, press out, squeeze your butt, then bend your knees wide and keep your hips up, then slowly lower, 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 neutral position, then press out, lifting up your butt without too much, popping up your navel, okay, then slowly tuck your tail under to coming down, down. Down. Good. Okay, so now put your toes on the foot mat. Turn out wide and if you need, you can just lift your headrest up. Okay. Then, so keep your balls of the feet or toes on the foot bar, press the carriage out and come back in. Inhale out, exhale, come back. Inhale out, exhale, close, press out, come back. Three more like that. Use your breath and keep your back near throat, then squeeze the block. Then now press out halfway, then come back halfway, out, in, small. Good, without losing the block. Nice. And four, three, two, squeeze the block, one, and halfway come back in and all the way, press out, then slowly come back in. I was about to lose this block. So now, again, so come back on the uh, parallel feet, then put the block between your knees, vertical position, okay? Then toes on again, okay? Holding nicely this block. Make sure your pelvis are equal. Then press the carriage out and lower your heels down. As you exhale, inhale, lift your heels up and exhale, come back in. Inhale, press out. Exhale, heels down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come back. So without losing this block and equal way hugging this block using both knees. Okay, inhale, press the carriage out. Exhale, heels down. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, come back in. Let's do three more. Out, down, up, in. Press out, heels down, heels up. Close, last one, press out, heels down. Lift your heels up and close the carriage in. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling and reach your legs over the footbar. If you like, you can have a teaser up or otherwise you can just roll on your side and come up. I'm gonna show you the teaser up and pull your navel in and lift your chest up. Then uh, swing your legs out to the side. We're gonna switch the spring, so only keep only one red spring on, just one heavy on the reformer. Okay, then, then you're gonna lower the headrest down if you have your headrest up. So you're sitting on the block, then grab the straps. Okay, so you're not to go to the end of the carriage. Just kind of one side away, OK? 
okay? Then bend your knees nicely. So you are, maybe if you are stable in this position, okay? So we're gonna do pelvic tilt, seated, seated pelvic tilt. Arms straight forward, find both sits bone equal way, then pull your navel up towards the ceiling. Your tailbone also anchor down, then as you keep your knees and big toes together, as you exhale, pull your navel in and tuck your tail under, and inhale, come back up. Exhale, pull your navel in slightly, slide your uh, pubic bone and tailbone forward. Exhale, slightly tuck. Inhale and exhale, come up. It's like less roll down, it's more focusing on your pelvis and coming back up. And keep your shoulders away from your ears and come back up. Let's do two more. Pull your navel in and come back up. Exhale, pull. Then now stay here. Bring your right leg up into the tabletop, then lower down. We're gonna do march, left leg up. Keep this navel pushing down, then you're not wobbling side to side, or back and forth. Keep everything steady, just lifting your one foot without changing your pelvis position and your shoulders all, all the time down, and breathe and lift. Inhale, right, exhale, down. Inhale, left, exhale, down. One more each side. Breathe. Pushing your navel in, very close to the spine, and lower down. And inhale, and exhale, slowly, slowly, come up. You can open your knees wide and fold forward. Breathe. Good. Then inhale and exhale, come up. Okay, again, so roll down, it's roll the pelvic tilt and roll down halfway, okay? Then now bring your right leg up into the tabletop, okay? Then we're gonna just low roll, bend your elbows and arms straight. Bend your elbows, arms straight, okay? So pushing your navel in and close the leaves together and the three. Two, and one, and arm straight without falling from the yoga block. Then exhale, lower your left of, uh, right foot down and lift your left foot up. Okay, then same thing, pull the elbows nicely back. Okay, keep this. Square hips and engage your navel and three. Good. And two. And the last one. Pull. And arm straight. Press uh, lower your right left foot down and inhale. Keep your shoulders down. Then exhale slowly, slowly. Come up. Knees wide and forward, forward. Relax your back for the moment. Then slowly coming back up. Again, pushing your navel in. Good, then now lift your right leg up. Yeah. Then now we're gonna do single roll roll. Only your right side, bend your elbow. And coming back in. And twist your ribs also. Without changing your hips position. Okay, pull back. One side, on same side, right side. Twist. Two more, breathe. Last one. And coming back to the center, put your right foot down, keep your chest low and left foot up. Then we're gonna go to the other side. Okay, without coming up, we are just twisting. Keep this nice pelvic tilt. And four, breathe. Three, good, pushing your navel in. Last one, tailbone anchor down, then coming back to the center, put your foot down, then slowly, slowly come up, open your knees wide, fold forward, breathe. Okay, so now take the block and put on the between your knees. Okay, you can have 
wide. You can dip it in your knees. Okay. So then you're gonna have short straps. And this time, you're gonna come down really roll down. <laughs> Even like coming all the way down as you exhale. Exhale, keep your shoulders down. Then find the mid back down completely, but keep your heads up, look at your navel. Okay, then inhale, squeeze the yoga block, then exhale, slowly, slowly, come up, push your navel back, 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 and coming, going forward a little bit, then stack back up. Again, pull your navel and then tuck your tail and roll down, down, down. So your upper back are curling up a little bit, but everything else coming flat down. Inhale and exhale using the abdominal, pushing the navel back and your hips are going back a little bit. Your head is going forward, then stack back up. Again, inhale and exhale slowly, slowly roll down, down, down. Shoulders away from your ears, inhale and exhale. Squeeze the block and pushing your navel back, head forward, then slowly, slowly stack back up. Again, pull your navel in the tuck and roll. Down, down, down. Then stay here. H hands are facing up. We're gonna do biceps curls. Six times. Five, keep pushing down your navel. Four, three, keep your block center. Two, and arms straight. Pushing your navel in, two, roll up, 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 and head forward and nicely stuck back up. Then put the straps back into the peg and you're gonna come in on the all fours position, okay? But before that, you're gonna switch the spring. Have light spring on the reformer, take the uh, heavy one out. So I have only blue spring on, okay? So your block is just coming against the shoulder in the middle. So your left hand on the center and bring your left knee aligned with your left hand. Okay, so your right leg is coming a little bit on, a little bit more right side. Okay. So then hold, grab the strap with your right hand. I prefer the short one, but you adjust by yourself. Okay. Then you're squeezing this left armpit to hold the weight, your weight in the center of the body. Okay, then arms are uh, left, right hand coming down, just directly down under the right shoulder. Okay, then press and pull the straps towards your hips. Then control and coming down. Kick back and coming down. So keep your left shoulder away from your left ear. Okay, then kick back. And now kick back. Then circling your arm to the side and coming back, just directly down under the right shoulder. Back, side, and down. Keep your left shoulder away from your ear. Keep your square hip. Also one more, this circle. And circle out and coming back in. Okay, we're gonna reverse the circle. To the side first, then squeeze back and coming back in. Side, squeeze back and cross, and come back in. Let's do two more, out, back, in, and last one, out, back, and in. Good, okay, so now put the long strap on your right foot, okay? Then you're gonna put the left elbow and left forearm down on the block. Okay, then keep your uh, left foot back side. Okay, so it's uh, your left hand this way, right foot this way. No, left foot this way, okay? So then you're gonna from here, just 
kick your uh, right leg straight. Okay, just keep your shoulder down. Okay, then coming back to the center. So you are coming a little bit more like parallel. This leg is parallel to the floor. Okay, good. Kick out and bend. Kick out. So square your hips this way. Nice. And three. Good. And two. And one. Kick out. Then kick forward and bend. And kick out. Kick forward and bend. Then kick out. Kick forward and bend. One more. This way and bend. Now kick forward, then kick back. And bend. Forward. Kick and bend. Forward. Kick and bend. Last one. Kick and bend. And coming down, take the strap out. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay. So right hand in the middle, right, right knee is coming to the center of the carriage. Then hold this that we are strap with your left hand, right shoulder down, holding with the armpit. Okay, then you're gonna just press back. Then come, left hand coming back under your left shoulder. Okay, kick back and come back. Kick back and come back. You're gonna do two more this way. Breathe. Then we're gonna make circle, kick back and circle out. And circle, and, and out. Back, circle, and in. Back, circle to the side, and come back in. One more, kick back, circle, and in. We're gonna do four more to the, uh, change the direction. Side, kick back, and down. Side, back, and down. Side. Back and down. It's really hard. Side, back and down. Good. Then now put the big strap with your left foot. Okay. Then right forearm down on the block and right foot the side and the back. Okay. Keep your hips square to the end of and both hip bone facing front side then kick and bend kick and bend keep your shoulder away from your ear good then now kick then bring your leg forward then bend kick forward and bend kick forward and bend one more forward and bend now Kick forward first, then back and bend. Straight forward, back and bend. Without collapsing, and bend. Last one, forward, kick and bend. And take the strap out. Okay, then we're gonna sit on the block facing the uh, foot by side. You can cross your uh, legs, okay? Then make sure you're sitting on the middle. Okay. So then if you like, you can have a short strap. If it's too heavy, you can have a long one, okay? We're gonna do a sour tray. Straighten your arms forward, then open your arms to the side. We keep, it, keep your back flat this time and bring it forward and bend. Straight to the side slightly and center and in. Arms straight, open your arms, but keep your, uh, you can see the hand all the time, the corner of your eyes, then arms straight and coming back in, let's do two more. Open without losing the, your finger with your eye. And the last one, open, forward, and straight, 
in. Okay, and close your leg, close the other way. We're gonna do Hagua tree, okay? Open your arms to the side, and this time you squeeze your back, okay? Your uh, elbows are soft, then bring your fingers kissing each other in the middle, in front of your chest. And open and squeeze the back, then control and kissing each other. Open, squeeze them your mid back. And coming back in, three more. Squeeze the bottom of your shoulder breast. And together, two, squeeze. Pushing your navel up. Last one. And coming in, okay? So now, your legs are coming forward. Flex your uh, ankles, okay? Then you're leaning a little bit forward from the hips. Okay, then bend your elbows, then straighten your arms. Bend. So we start collapsing on your knees. Okay, just leaning 60 degree away. And three, two, and one. Okay, then now go post, bend your elbow to the side and straighten your arms. Okay, so you keep your uh, ankle flexing and you're not touching the carriage or your reformer. Okay, and three more, bend. And straight without collapsing, two. And the last one, reach. Then stack your spine back up, circling your arms, side and down. Close the carriage, put the straps back into the pegs. Okay, then add one red spring on, one heavy spring on. So you have now one light and one heavy spring on. So put the block between your knees. Okay, your feet are against, your heels are against your shoulder rest. We're gonna do a knee stretch, okay? Hands are on the foot bar. Okay, you're halfway sitting down. Okay, then squeeze the block. Then you're just kicking your knees back. Breathe out, changing your pelvis position. Good, kick out, breathe. And four, three, two, and one. Okay, keep nice flat back. Then bring your knees up. Okay, then kick out. So your, this is a jack rabbit. Okay, kick out. Without sagging your hips, without sagging your navel. And three, two. So you keep your block. And one, okay. Then now, from here, bring your uh, chest over the foot button. Have a nice plank, then press out. Keep your um, torso really straight, crown of the head to the um, tailbone. It's a really nice straight line. You're just back and forth. Okay, reach your crown of the head forward, reach your tailbone back, and two more. And the last one. Then now we're gonna add the extension. So when you're coming forward, just nice is extending your spine, open your chest. Okay, then coming back to the neutral, press out. Then squeeze the back, but without sagging your abdomen, okay? Pull your navel up towards your nose. And coming back neutral and press back. Two more. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Pull your collarbone nicely wide to the side. And coming back to the neutral, press out. One more, squeeze the back, extending. Turn up your caravan, without taking your abdominal. And coming back to the neutral, press out. Then, biking up, press out. Pike up, press out, pike up. Nicely, use your abdominal to lift your hips up. And three, so your shoulders stay all the time, same position. Two, 
good. And the last one. Okay, good. Then uh, close the carriage. Put your feet down. You can have your feet against the shoulder rest. I'm, I'll have short legs and come a little bit more forward, okay? Then keep your shoulders a little bit forward. We're gonna do elephant. Flat back, elephant. Kick back, you press down your heels, then press the carriage out. Kick out, okay? So squeezing this block, so your block stay between your thighs or knee, okay? Inhale out, exhale, come back. Inhale out, exhale, come back. Three, two, and one. Okay, so now round back elephant. Okay, pull your navel up, look at your block, then using your heels, kick out. Inhale out, exhale, pushing your navel up, squeeze the block to close. Inhale out, exhale. Pull your navel up. Inhale and exhale. Use your abdominal. Good. Four more. Shh. Inhale out. Exhale. Come back. Two more. Shh. Last one. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Try to close your carriage in. Then take the block out. We're going to do feet in straps. Keep the same um, springs. Okay, put the strap, put the strap to one foot and the other one is coming also. Okay, then, so bring your uh, block between your knees again, flex your ankles. Okay, then inhale, lower your legs down without changing your lower back position. Keep it neutral. Okay, then flex your ankle and lower, okay, inhale, lower down, exhale, lifting up, make sure your pelvis is square, okay, then don't lose the block, okay, and inhale, lower your legs down equally, exhale, lifting up, two more, okay, without rounding, without extending your lower back, then now lower down, Keep your ankle flexing, okay? Then bend your knees and kick out. Bend, kick out, okay? Without losing this block, it's getting wobbly, mine, okay? I try to keep this block as steady as possible. It's really hard. Okay, three more, kick out. Good, and two, and now kick out, then lift your legs up, and just lift your butt up, and coming down, and lower, bend, kick out, up, pushing your navel in, lift your butt up, and hips down, lower, bend, kick, lift your legs up first, then engage your abdominal to lift your hips up and lower down, and lower, bend, out, up, pushing your navel in to lift, and coming down, and lower. So while you lift your butt up, your carriage is really steady, and down, steady, then you can lower, and now carriage is moving. We're gonna do two more, kick out, up, push your navel in, lift, and down, and lower, bend, kick out, up, pushing your navel into lift, and lower, control, and lower down, and bend your knees. We're gonna take the block out, put it, put down on the side, then you're gonna make circle, lower down your legs, and circling up, breathe, circle up, Nice. Good. So keep your tailbone down. And same time, try to have big circles. Good. And we're gonna reverse the circle. Circle out and down and lifting up. Circle to the side and lifting up. Breathe. Good. Three more. Nice. 
two. And the last one. Good. Okay. Then put your feet together, open your knees wide, and just relax. Just a couple of seconds here to breathe. Okay, then take the straps out one by one. Then put your foot one by one on the foot part. Then straighten your legs out and arms up and circle your arms and the teeth are up. Okay, so take the, take your right, right spring out. We're gonna keep one heavy spring on. We're gonna do lunge. This time we're gonna put the uh, yoga block on the floor. Okay, come close to the machine. Then put your uh, right, so left foot on the yoga block and the right knee coming, right knee, right foot against the shoulder rest. Okay, so you can keep your knee up, then press out halfway this carriage, then bend your left knee, then press the carriage out more to have a nice lunge position. Okay, and lower your left right knee down and lift your uh, right knee up, down and up. Tighten your glutes. Good. And four, three, two, and one, lifting up. Okay, then now pull your navel up to close the carriage in. Okay, so press out halfway, then bend your left knee. Okay, then now lift your right, left arm up and circling back and coming forward, okay. Just a circle and add that twist, and coming forward. Let's do two more. Good, and one more. But still keep your hips square and come back in. Pull your navel out to close the carriage in. Then we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so now my right foot on the block, left foot against the shoulder rest, your knee is not touching, then halfway out, then bend your right knee, round without too much opening your hips, then now bend your left knee and kick back, bend and kick back. Keep your shoulders away from your ears, good. Tighten your glutes. Nice. Three, two, and one more, okay? Then now just pull your navel up to close the carriage in. Again, kick out halfway and bend your right knee. Okay, then now this time reach your right arm up and circling back and same time look at your right hand then coming back to the center and circling your arm but still keep your hips square. Reach up and back and forward, up and back and put your hands down and slowly pull your navel up to close the carriage in and we are done for today. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this workout and if you like the workout, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you soon in my next exercise video. Thank you. Bye.